Welcome back. We are women focused today here on Politics Unplugged. Here we are in this amazing state with a strong economy and women make up 46% of the state's workforce. But think about this. Colorado women are more likely than men to live in poverty, no matter what educational level they attain. Outrageous, right? And in their new nonpartisan voter handbook, the Women's Foundation of Colorado proposes changes they say would improve our economy, even by improving opportunities for women and families. So how? Well, that's why we have invited Louise Meyerlin, the Vice President of Programs for the Women's Foundation of Colorado here today to explain more about this. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you. You have looked at the November ballot to look at some of the issues that are out there affecting Coloradans, specifically Colorado women. So what's, what's, on, the, what's on the list? Well, the issues included in the Will Manifesto and the recommendations made therein are really issues that are pervasive across our society. So for November's ballot and always, we see opportunities for more women to participate in the workforce, for able to improve access to high quality and affordable childcare, and the sorts of policies that really make work work, like access to paid family leave and paid sick days. So are there specific issues on the ballot that you are focused on? The Women's Foundation hasn't taken a position on any of the ballot measures, the state or local level for this election. Uh, we hope that the Women Manifesto will help voters understand some of the basic issues that are so important in all aspects of our economy and will help to inform their decisions on all of the issues. So you've brought the Women Manifesto and this is something that people can find on your, on your website, on the Women's Foundation website. And the idea is just, just to explain the issues and how it affects or, or from the woman's perspective, is that how it works? Sure. The Women Manifesto, which is available at WFCO.org, includes a, a description of some of the key challenges women face on the path to economic security and recommendations for policy changes that improve opportunities to strengthen the entire Colorado economy by unlocking women's potential. So getting women to vote, I mean this is an issue that is, that is always an issue in Colorado and across the country. Uh, what do you think, is, this, is that the idea? You want to help women get out there and, and cast their ballots? Yes, this nonpartisan voter handbook is intended to help inform women and men as they're making their decisions on the ballot. So they know just how to uh, ensure that our economy is getting stronger when women and their families have better opportunities. So I, let's talk a little bit deeper about that when you mm -hmm. talk about the issues that, af that affect women and families because it really it affects everyone, right, when we're talking about the total economy here. Definitely. Uh, there are opportunities for all of Colorado to get stronger. For instance, when more women participate in the workforce, wages go up for all workers. And uh, we know that in order to fully participate in uh, the Colorado economy, women and their families need to have access to key resources, affordable, high quality childcare, job training opportunities, and the chance to really advance their career into the jobs that we need a skilled labor force to fill today and tomorrow. And I know the Women's Foundation watches all of these issues in Colorado. Mm -hmm. are, are there some that, that you're more focused on right now that where you see change happening? I think there's a real potential to advance change in some of the areas that can have the greatest impact for women and their families and the economy as a whole. Some of those needs are to really strengthen strategies that serve the whole family, or two generation strategies that ensure parents are getting what they need to advance in their careers, their education, training, and overall economic security, while children are uh, put off to a great start with access to high quality education and care resources. So too. does that start with with preschool, or, or how does that how does that chain reaction work? Even earlier, when children and families have access to high quality and affordable childcare, mm -hmm. uh, beginning at birth, they have great educational opportunities that help. Um, help the kids get off to a great start and ensure that we're going to have a well-educated and uh, capable workforce in the future. So you educate the kids and then parents have an opportunity to then pursue other possibilities with uh, with jobs. I'm, right. I'm trying to understand the, the correlation. When children are being well cared for in a safe, nurturing environment, that 
makes it possible for their parents to pursue education and training, to be focused on their jobs, to be more reliable employees. And resources like this help the families earn uh, enough to support themselves and make sure that our employers are able to tap into the skilled labor force they need to be able to come to work consistently every day as well. Okay, so the Will Manifesto can be found on the Women's Foundation website. Yes. And just an explanation of, of what, the, uh, what the issues are that are facing women again in this upcoming election season. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now, if you ever have a question or a segment idea, just tweet us at Denver7Politics. And you can always watch today's segments anytime at the denverchannel.com slash politics unplugged. And thank you so much for watching. We will see you back here next Sunday for another edition of Politics Unplugged.